Hello dear friends, thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, I would like to thank all of you that uh, are tuning in regularly. Thank you so much and my subscribers. I only have a few but they're very precious to me and I want to thank you all for being so wonderful and so thoughtful. Um, in particular, I want to thank uh, Corinne uh, or Karen. I'm not, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. But thank you for your beautiful comment. It made me feel so happy. I appreciate uh, your thoughts on my channel and on my readings on the cup. Um, I also want to say to all the trolls, I get so many trolls. For such a small channel, I don't know where these trolls come from. I have to, I wake up every day very early. And one of the first things I do is check the weather and then tune into my YouTube channel and see what's going on. And I have to delete all these trolls. Not every day, but on a regular basis. It's just ridiculous. For you trolls, just leave me alone. Just go somewhere else. This channel is not for you. Um, so thank you again to all my friends, though. Um, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And I... I try to be as honest as possible with my readings. Um, I read what I see and I say what I see in the cup and in the tarot. Um, so today uh, I want to do a cup reading on Putin. I had done two tarot readings on him. Uh, I was able to find out a few things about his past. Now, I feel that there was a lot of in-between missing from my readings and I'm wondering if I should do a uh, extended reading on him but I was able to get the gist of it I mean if you if you didn't see the, the tarot reading on uh, Putin there's part one and part two how Putin got his big giant test tentacles and part two is how Putin got his tentacles and just check that out if you want to. I mean, I don't want to tell people go watch it, but I, I, I don't care. I, I don't want that. But if you're interested in knowing, like, the full picture of where I am I am at with Putin, then you might want to check out uh, the tarot reading I did on him. Because the cup is good at telling the future, but it's not good. It's not very good at, well, it's not good at all on looking in the past and uh, the present. So I did, I actually did two cups on him because he's Putin and he's very complicated. I, I think that that uh, tentacles analogy is perfect for him. He's everywhere. And so I will begin. I will begin the cup. So what I see in this cup... With po this is Putin's cup. What I see here is empty space. Empty space. And what that signifies to me. Now these things are based on your own intuition. So what this signifies to me is distraction. Is distraction. I think that everything we're caught up in now. With a... Uh, the things happening in here in the United States with our uh, Domdani as president are very much a distraction. And I believe that this man is working very hard to influence the entire world, the entire earth. Now, when I first saw this cup, and this part right here, I thought, am I, be, am I going to be irresponsible if I say what I see here? But please bear with me. Okay, I'm going to say the first few words of this, but please bear with me. Let me explain. So what I see here is a missile. A missile being launched or threatened to be launched. Now, I don't see it in the air. 
so it's not like it's in the air yet but it seems to be on firm ground grounded but it's a threat some sort of threat and now for the missile to be launched it would have to cross water now in person the cup you could see better the water better but this is water you see how there's nothing up here and then here is a very light film that's water so I'm gonna say it would have to cross this is such a, a large space it would have to cross some sort of sea sea or ocean I'm gonna say either one I don't know and there will be in the land that a Putin has been or will be threatening with a missile there is someone that has passed here a dead person and in this land there are white people so it's not China, it's not uh, Korea, it's not Af a country in Africa, it's not India. It's He's going to threaten a country where there are white people. And the leader of the country is a woman. There's going to be a big problem between Putin and a woman. Here I see tanks or if not tanks, trucks, military trucks. And a problem in a country of white folks light-skinned folks maybe Europe I don't know Sweden maybe I, I obviously this is just a conjecture on the country because it doesn't say Sweden it doesn't say Germany it doesn't say but all I know is that the country is a Caucasian country and that the person that rules it or the, the main person the prime minister or the president or the queen is a woman and I don't I don't think it's England because it's it seems like a younger woman than Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth is a an elderly lady. This is not a young woman, but it's 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 younger than Queen Elizabeth. She's younger than her. And here I see Putin on a ship. I don't know if you can tell. Look at that. That looks. To me, it looks like a, a ship, some sort of ship. And here's Putin. He's like the shortest one out of everyone on the ship. He's low and he he has a he's of shorter stature. He's of sh uh, shorter stature than uh, most of the people on the ship. Again, here is the woman with whom he has the. the beef with and this is a married woman I'll teach you guys a little bit more about the cup but when sometimes a married couple you'll see like one one person and then when you look in deeper you can see there's someone inside of them so that shows up as a union as a union and this woman is married and so here she is talking to maybe her advisors And like I said, this is interpretation. I cannot, if I know something 100%, like, oh, yes, this is, I will say that. But some things are just so complicated that I'm not able to weave it, to weave everything together. I'm just able to tell you, I think this is this, this is what shows. But here, here's my opinion. I think that Putin's daughter 
this is a family member Putin and it looks like his daughter you know the one that that was dancing in the video she's like short of stature and and muscular um, and she has short blonde hair Putin's daughter is going to be held by authorities in one of these foreign countries and I don't know what what the beef is why but she's going to be detained by police in a foreign country and that's going to piss the hell out of Putin And there's an issue with a child. I don't know why this little kid keeps on coming up in Putin's cup. Here he is again. But here's Putin. When you are angry, you come out. When you are either sick or in the cup. Oh. This thing's so blurry. In the cup, when you see someone come out like either all scraggly, it's either anger or uh, sickness this person seems to be very angry over an issue with this girl over here and there's a problem with a little kid I don't know what that's about and here are two people talking I don't know who these people are this involves everyone in the world almost every continent I don't know who these people are but they have problems and they're discussing all these problems and okay so here you have here's Putin see how a very like he's very smart you know very um when you have a person that's it could be an intelligent person but that it's simple and, and doesn't have any mental issues to deal with they come up pretty straight that either they're good or evil they come up pretty straight like you know where they stand but when you have someone all squig squiggly like that come up this is someone that's complicated they could be good or bad they could be a good person and and have them you know like just be concerned and suffering uh, and emotional or they can be a bad person and they can be a bad person and come up with all these you know problems they like to cause problems I don't know which one so here is Putin And there's an issue with a kid. Now, I don't know if there's on the news we're going to hear about him and an issue with one of his grandkids or if he has a love child. The guy's 66 years old. He's not old. 66 is not old. And not, you know, a strapping young lad, but this person is still, you know, it's a good age. Maybe it's a love child of his. I don't know grandkid or his own kid that's gonna come out and there's gonna be a beef about that and we're gonna hear about it now Putin beer being Putin you see you guys how everyone is like all these people I'm sorry to bring this up, but that's just the nature of the beast. So you see all these people are so light-skinned. You see how light-skinned all these people are? You see how light their hair is? Everything. Here's the baby, Putin baby. Putin family baby. I don't know if his grandkid or his kid. And here's Putin. Light-skinned. And then we have this darker, taller man. And I think he may be from one of the Arab countries. Maybe this is Mohammed bin Salman. Because you know how Mohammed bin Salman, like he's really heavy at the top. 
and he has like that thing on his uh i don't know what that's called but he covers his head and his hair is darker and he's not you know he has a tan complexion and he's very like thick at the top so this might be him so Putin is going to him they're both talking like in con a congenial kind of way it seems like Putin wants to get him involved in some sort of beef with the like an ally like whatever Putin wants to do against these countries he wants to make sure he has this guy as an ally and if you look to the bottom of the cup there's nothing it seems like there's nothing there but I do see territories is land I see territory territory here then another territory here another territory here and another territory here so what this cup tells me is that Putin is going nowhere soon we think Donald Trump is our biggest problem Donald Trump is our entertainment at this point Donald Trump is a food bar comedian a food bar comedian compared to Putin there is no Donald Trump at all on this cup and I know a lot of people think that he's gonna be around for a while but I am according to my tarot readings and according to my cup readings Donald Trump days are numbered as a president as a president his days are numbered I don't see Trumpo Dumdani Trumpito anywhere here okay no trumpet anywhere here but putin got his tentacles in arabia i'm gonna say the white people are in europe and a bunch of other territories at the bottom of the cup okay and because i did another little cup because i just wanted to make sure uh nothing else will come up that's out of the ordinary or in contrast with this one that I couldn't understand or weave in so I did another cup on him so here it is again see blank distraction he's ghosting us right now distracting us whatever he lit and set a flame a few months back or a few years back He's using it as a distraction to do his next move. This guy is, I mean, say whatever you want about him, but he's pretty brilliant. And I don't mean that in an admiring way. He's an evil genius. So here we have a leader from one country. You see how this is like one place how this place is more pronounced it looks like it's forward and then this place is in the back it looks like it's behind it's just saying that these are different places these are different areas of the world different countries different states and down here you see like military uh vehicles i don't know if it's a ship it, it looks like a little boat but it could also be like a small tank and here you have uh, a, a tall, this is, this is one country run by, you know, a tan person, darker person. And this one is run by a white person, like a light skin, blonde person. Here again is a problem with a woman. I think it's his daughter. She's going to be detained and the people that she where she's going to be detained they're going to know that this is an actual problem they're going to be sad about this happening to her in their country but they have no choice they have no choice but to detain her here is another country so i got one two three four countries again 
And this is the fifth country, you guys. This is the fifth country. And this is an Asian country. And this is, to me, this is... Now, okay, so light-skinned people come out a certain way. Dark-skinned people come out another way. Medium people come out a different way. And Asians also come out in a different way. I could pick out an Asian person really quickly in the cup. Um, and so this is Kim Jong-un. This is Kim Jong-un's uh, advisors or people close to him. And this is... Hold on, sorry, let me just close this door. Hey, what you doing? And this is Kim Jong-un. You see how he's a uh, heavier set and like he, he has no neck. Kim Jong-un is like a little necklace. Neckless without a neck. Not that he wears a necklace, but see how these guys are... Oh, I want to get it without blur. These guys look like on the taller side and they have... Um, Kind of a different body type and see how this guy's a little you know heavier and broad shoulders and like no neck this is king jong-un so to me what it seems like is like he's gonna isolate he's gonna try to get maybe tyrants maybe uh like muhammad bin salman on his side and then isolate like some of the european countries and then start problems with like another you know arab or african country and then he wants to like uh involve king jong-un and king jong-un and his people are uh they're kind of neutral they're kind of neutral they, they don't want to get involved they may they may be trying to figure out what to do doesn't mean that they're gonna not do or do but when all this is happening they're going to be talking about what can they do what what is this what's that and king jong-un is weighing out the pros and the cons i can't tell if he will be involved or not but i will say this not because it was on the news but down here is a small country surrounded by sea you see when you see these white things at the bottom like these clear spots when they're enormous like that that's water that's a body of water so you look at this little part here i might try to get a better camera for for my for future readings here but this is so blurry but this is like a mountainous country surrounded by water a mountainous country surrounded by water it could be i know that he wanted to start trouble with montenegro the country of Mar Mar montenegro in europe i think this might be it you guys i think he's gonna try to start something with montenegro now i'm not sure if it's montenegro or not but it's a mountainous country A mountainous country and at the bottom again many waters so what that's telling me you know how the earth is mostly surrounded by water is that he's gonna be spreading this is all water he's gonna be trying to do things all around the world he's going to try to destabilize countries uh, team up with dictators and people that we think are bad, like Mohammed bin Salman and King Jong Un and all these people. Now, King Jong Un, to, to me, seems like he's he's hesitant. Mohammed bin Salman, on the other hand, he's all for it. He is all for it. See how they're facing each other. When two people are at odds, they face away. One is going this way, one is looking the other way, or one is looking away. 
they're facing each other. He's all for it. Kim Jong-un, on the other hand, he's facing away. So he's hesitant. I don't know what he'll do in the end, but he's hesitant. And at the bottom here, you have all these oceans, all these seas. And now, these cups are interesting for what they're lacking to me as well. Not just what they show, but what they're lacking. And what they're lacking to me is China. China, Japan. Okay, so now we have some sort of trade war with China. But maybe China could be one of our biggest allies in this situation against Putin. I don't know. I'm not a politician. I'm just saying by what the cup shows. There is no China. China does not want to get involved in Putin's uh, brouhaha's over here. There's no China. And you know what else is lacking? No Trump. So I don't know if this is the, if Trump, uh, Trump, Putin is going to start this now or if he's doing this as we speak now, beginning this whole you know how things just don't pop out of the blue. It takes time to put the plan together, to put it into action. So maybe it's one of these deals. But I don't see Trump as the world leader in these things here. I see other world leaders. And I see other countries involved. Now, we can't lose hope. We can't lose hope. This guy, since, you know, he, he, he's mostly after money. Uh, maybe money could be our ally in the end. Maybe having strong relationships with, co with countries that we can trade uh, healthily, like we have a good healthy relationship with them and trade, will be the one way to weaken him. As long as we're fighting each other, as long as we're fighting within our country, between Democrats and Republicans, he's winning. As long as we're fighting within trade like China and all these other countries we're trading with, he's winning. We're losing and he's winning. We need to change that. We need to get back to unity. I know that a lot. It's very hurtful for the things that have a lot of people in our country said about one another. Like, I'm a minority. I'm very hurt by what the things that have been said about minorities. And it's very hard, but as long as we're divided, he's winning. As long as the U.S. internally is divided, Putin is winning. As long as we're at odds with China and we're at odds with all these other countries... Putin is winning. We need to unite. We need to get together. We need to strengthen our trade. We need to strengthen our relationship with each other. Because this guy has a, a posse of villains that he can resort to. To put the fear in us. Okay, like I said, you know, I'm very worried. The country that he is planning to attack or threaten is ruled by a woman. Well, again, thank you for listening. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I wish I could be like a lot of the readers out there giving us good news. I mean, we will be okay. There are many, many things like we will be okay. I don't see any death of our country or anything like that. We, we will be fine. But these are just events that are going to happen and that we're going to see. And the one good thing, the one wonderful thing that I see in these cups, no dumb Donnie, no toupee Donald, nothing. He's not even present in these cups. So hopefully he's out soon and we can get back to uniting the country that we love. Thank you for listening.